Wormholes are one of the many fascinating things in deep space. Scientists have speculated and researched wormholes for many years. But they have just discovered the first ever wormhole. What exactly is a wormhole? Why are astronomers so thrilled about it? And how does it affect you personally? In this video, we will show you the first wormhole ever discovered by scientists. Many people might not know how much the Earth does to keep us safe. Because of its unique features, we are safe from things that would kill us for sure. Once you leave the planet, however, everything changes. And the further you go into space, the scarier things you find. One of these is a wormhole. As you will soon see, a wormhole is both interesting and scary. Scientists are always interested in wormholes, so they have learned a lot about them and even made one. But what is a wormhole, really? Einstein's theory of general relativity is described by a set of equations. A wormhole is the solution to these equations. It is a tunnel that connects two distant points in space or time. In this case, however, the length of the tunnel is shorter than the distance between the two points. This means that wormholes can be thought of as a shortcut between two places. Even though they've been in a lot of sci-fi movies, wormholes have been just a theory for a long time. With the recent discovery, that's no longer the case. You may have heard that wormholes are sometimes called einstein rosen bridges. This is because Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen found the simplest way to fix a wormhole in 1935. The two people started with the math behind a black hole, which is another scary thing. A black hole has a singularity, which is a point of infinite density, and an event horizon, which is a region around the singularity from which nothing can get out. Based on how the universe works, they found that they could add white holes, which are the opposite of black holes, to the solution. These white holes also have a singularity, but they don't let anything into their event horizon like a black hole does. Instead, anything that falls into a white hole immediately spits out. Einstein and Rosen found that for every black hole in space, there is a white hole. This is where the wormhole comes in. But since the two holes would be in different parts of space, a tunnel would connect them. This tunnel is called a wormhole. Wormholes can exist, but it was hard to keep them stable. If just one proton or light particle went through the wormhole tunnel, it would add so much energy to the system that the tunnel would break and the wormhole would be gone. In addition, if you imagine a wormhole as a warm, personal shortcut from one part of the universe to another, you may be deeply disappointed. Since entry is possible only from the side of the black hole where it is dark, once you cross the event horizon, there is no way back out. This would result in you spending all of the eternity inside the corresponding wormhole. Scientists eventually figured out how to create a stable wormhole, and they even figured out how to make it traversable. Which means that if you get stuck in a wormhole, all you need to do is solve a couple of equations. The key that is discovered in the 1970s is to stabilize a wormhole tunnel so that matter passing through it doesn't immediately cause catastrophic collapse, and to relocate the tunnel's entrance beyond the event horizon of the black hole. Scientists have found that exotic matter, or some form of matter with a negative mass, is required to keep a wormhole stable. Recent studies have shown that wormholes with exotic matter can remain stable and open for much longer than previously thought. The idea of negative mass is intriguing. If you put something with negative mass next to something with positive mass, for instance, they'll start moving faster right away, even if they have no other means of propulsion. Keep in mind that exotic matter is distinct from dark matter and antimatter, and that size is also an issue. The predicted size of these primordial wormholes ranges from 10 to 33 centimeters in diameter. Nonetheless, it's possible that some have been stretched to larger sizes as the universe expands researchers found that it was likely too weird. The wormhole's entrance would be a sphere, like looking at the surface of a planet. If you look into the wormhole, you'd see light coming in from the other side. The wormhole's tunnel could be any length. And as you cruise down the tunnel, you'd see warped views of the region of the universe from which you came and the region to which you were headed. Moreover, time machines, a popular idea in cinema, can be made possible through the use of wormholes. In what way does this function? 
First, according to special relativity, a person traveling at nearly the speed of light would not make as much progress into their own future as a person standing still because moving clocks run slowly. The two ends of a successfully constructed wormhole would be in sync with one another at first, but one end would start to lag behind the other if it were accelerated to nearly the speed of light. In that case, it would be possible to merge the two entrances, but one of them would have to move back in time. It's a lot to take in, but remember, you only need to walk through one end of the wormhole to be back in your own past by the time you come out the other side. Despite all the study of wormholes, we still haven't seen one in space. But a dedicated team of scientists has managed to create one in the lab, allowing you to literally relive certain moments from your past. These scientists from Spain's Autonomous University of Barcelona have developed a spherical device that can move a magnetic field from one location to another in the universe. They claim that the theoretical work of Alan Greenleaf, a mathematics professor at the University of Rochester in New York, had served as an inspiration. For the purpose of transmitting electromagnetic waves from one location to another, Greenleaf proposed the concept of an electromagnetic wormhole. Despite the impossibility of testing Greenleaf's theory due to various factors, the Spanish team was able to use magnetic metamaterials and metasurfaces to create a wormhole that transfers the magnetic field from one location in space to another by a magnetically undetectable path. It was difficult to produce the gadget because its components were disorganized and hard to manage, but they were available. According to one of the researchers, Jordi Pratt-Kemps, the team came to the conclusion that Greenleaf's concept had achieved after conducting extensive analysis. After the design was finalized, the construction of the wormhole took four months. The net result is a magnetic field that appears to move from one location to another by means of a fourth dimension. In this experiment, the wormhole is a sphere constructed from multiple layers, an outer layer with a ferromagnetic surface, an inner layer made of superconducting material, and a ferromagnetic sheet rolled into a cylinder that crosses the sphere from end to end. The sphere is designed to be magnetically undetectable or invisible in magnetic field terms from the outside. Like gravitational wormholes, a magnetic wormhole alters the topology of space, making it appear as though the interior region has been magnetically erased. Meanwhile, these scientists had previously constructed a magnetic fiber, a device capable of transmitting a magnetic field from one end to the other. This fiber, however, was detectable magnetically, whereas the wormhole they have now is a fully three-dimensional device, impervious to any magnetic field. What the Spanish research team has built has an interesting practical application. Scientists used to believe that an outside observer couldn't tell the difference between a wormhole and a black hole. But now they realize that black holes should produce fewer gamma rays and inject them in a jet, while wormhole irradiation would be contained in a giant sphere. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get updates to watch one of our newest videos. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next video.